Hello and welcome to Orbiting Rick. And today's video, I'm sorry it was delayed. Again, there were some issues with the recording it, but those were resolved, and now you can see a final product here. And it starts off different than usual, with a plane. Uh, every single time I do something involving a plane, I always swear this will be the last time I do it, and yet I still keep going back to planes. But this one actually kind of flies alright. There will be other issues with it uh, you'll see later on. But uh, yeah, we're taking off from a, a runway added by a uh, curb inside. I need to remember like, what after that. Just, I think re updated, something like that. Remastered. Just yeah, the updated version of a uh, curb inside. I had to do some uh, just alterations to the bases, bases it's at. It adds. If you don't know curb inside, it adds. Uh, several bases around Kerbin with Kerbal Constructs. And I had to go and do some modification to that since I have a rescaled solar system, so rescaled Kerbin. But most of those actually still work with some adjustment. But yeah, we took off from a very southern launch site, so we could head to the South Pole. Which, after skipping over some very boring, just very like boring hours of flying, well, hours in game, I like, sped up most of it by four times. Yeah, we reach this uh, southern uh, continent. Except it's actually connected by land to Rusta Kerbin, since Kerbin's weird like that. See, theoretically, you could do this journey by land. But yes, I actually did fly this entire uh, journey, just again, legitimately didn't cheat the aircraft over here. But yeah, we continue to head towards the South Pole. I was using the, uh, I was using an autopilot mod, as you can see. I yet again forget the name of the mod, but I can uh, see there. But then we have this weird issue where the engines suddenly shut down, and I was extremely concerned because, uh, yeah, we seem to still have fuel, but as it uh, as it says there, yeah, the the engines broke. I did not really take into consideration that yeah, the engines. Uh, they're not properly configured, and yeah, they have a very low rated burn time. So yeah, we suddenly have new engines, and we're over at uh, this the, I the southern ice uh, the southern ice cap. And so I'm kind of panicking right now, since uh, yeah, we're somewhat stranded if we don't have engines. I decide to uh, worry about that later in the plane of base, anyways. Uh, so we are uh, slowly making descent down to the surface. It's actually, I was gonna say, uh, doing this uh, flight actually uh, gave me just a newfound appreciation for the uh, volumetric clouds. I mean, just look at them. Definitely added something to this flight. But uh, yeah, we can uh, very slowly make our way down to the surface. I guess I can talk about uh, why I wanted to do this uh, mission of uh, deploying a base on this uh, southern uh, ice shelf. Basically, I want to do a mess around with some more, like, just some different ways of building up surface bases. I also wanted to do it somewhere new, so I went strangely close to home, since I had I don't, most people don't do stuff on Kerbin. Unless you're one of those weird people who only plays uh, Kerbal Space Program to build planes. But uh, yeah, we're not one, of, I'm not one of those people. But yes, we have landed, and we can uh, now deploy the uh, various set, uh, the, the base, and also the, uh, the the tractor that will uh, maneuver it around. And uh, here is uh, what I believe is a failed attempt as uh, I try and open the uh, front uh, cargo cargo door, and that causes ominous uh, this pausing and yeah, that is not ideal. However, in this attempt, the vertical stabilizer just pops off. So yeah, no matter what we do, we're not we're not getting home, are we? But I decided to go with this attempt anyway, since other attempts have ended in far more destructive uh, cracking attacks. So we can get the uh, tractor out uh, using some Kerbal Foundry's uh, tracks there. And this mission, it's also really a showcase of uh, textures unlimited uh, just recolor. Just, yeah, yeah, textures unlimited recolor. Since that's the only way we can get that nice uh, safety orange on all the uh, craft. Uh, well, I try to detach the uh, base, uh, uh, the uh, base module, and that causes everything to get far worse. And now the plane has no wings, which is uh, very detrimental to be to it being a plane. But regardless of that, we can uh, 
and deploy the uh, various uh, turbo attachment system parts that will allow us to uh, maneuver the base on the surface. Since again, this is a test of different ways to build a base. <coughs> All the bases I've actually had done have either, have, uh, have either been monolithic or they have been launched in multiple segments that were connected before landing. So I wanted to do something where I maneuver segments after they land. Yeah, I tried to use the tube bar, but that uh, refuses to cooperate, so I instead use a normal winch. And we can start to pull the uh, base out of uh, the cargo bay. However, there's uh, some landing legs we need to deploy to uh, minimize uh, the, uh, friction the friction it's experiencing. Uh, but to do that, we need uh, two kerbals on the uh, module itself. Which, uh, that's actually uh, entirely, well, almost the, the crew module is uh, from stock like space station parts at Redux that has a recolor config for it. I try again with the two bar, but that still refuses to work. As you can see, angle is too high. So we get two kerbals on board the uh, module, and that allows us to deploy the uh, landing legs. Which also leads to some strange sounds. I believe that uh, they're just, yeah, the, it, the game doesn't like the interaction between all the uh, different parts on the surface. We can uh, start to uh, drag the uh, base module around. And this actually works surprisingly well. I mean, yeah, we're not, it's not the fastest thing, but I mean, it's just dragging something that's not even like on. Just, it's on landing legs, not skis or anything. Which actually, on that topic, yes, I understand with the aircraft I should have used landing skis, but the landing skis in the mod pack I use are just terrible. They they don't work, they don't retract, they have stupid high friction, just, yeah, they're not usable, essentially. Anyways, we are dragging the base over to a stable location. And at this point, I decide to switch on the fuel cells in the tractor. Since, yeah, this thing is a fuel cell powered, which you might say is a is kind of a bad idea for something that will be somewhere without uh, the ability to refuel. However, there is I came up with a plan for this that you will see later. Which is I actually was really happy with this and just something I want to make more use of in the future. But firstly, on the base itself, it's a uh, wind powered. We have some planet side, uh, yeah, planet side. Uh, I'm trying to remember the. It's got planet side bases. There's um, wind turbines that are deployed. And that can get lined up. Yeah, it generates us some electric charge. And uh, what we can do is, whilst I get uh, the rest of the crew off the plane, since there's no real point in staying in the wreck of it, I decide to uh, drive the attractor over dead near to the base. So we can. Uh, oh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll hook up a cable from it to the base uh, so we can uh, transfer some power over into it and uh, keep the fuel cells off. So we connect up that hose there. And set that to docked. And yeah, that cra the tractor is now essentially a part of the base. And we can uh, transfer resources to it. Well, I was to say, this uh, tractor is actually one of my favorite things I've built in a while. I don't know why, just... I actually I really like how it turned out. Using the uh, cockpit uh, from some mod might be SX... SXT might be some other, might be Airplane Plus or something like that. I really like this a small Mark III type, uh, just, which basically, it's a size 1, but it's a Mark III profile. But yeah, I really like that. It's really nice uh, for building uh, just planes and other vehicles, as you can see. I also decided to deploy uh, some uh, surface science, since uh, why not? Yeah, this uh, augments uh, the uh, scientific uh, instrument. We Scientific instruments that we already have on the base. And we can also uh, do some uh, surface science. Now, although the uh, base has sufficient consumables and, and just it uh, should be able to survive for a long period of time, this still isn't a great situation since yeah, the crew is kind of stranded. Although, since it's on Kerbin, you can just press recover, and yeah, the, the game doesn't care where you are where you are on Kerbin. 
Aside from uh, adjusting recovery cost, but yeah, I think for my head cannon, I think I'll have to do a, rec a rescue mission to this. So, I guess that's something you can uh, look out for in the future. Yeah, I guess with that, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye. One last thing. I originally intended for the space to be directly at the South Pole, as you can see I have a waypoint there. But we only made it to 81 degrees south since we lost the engines partway through. So, yeah.